struggle is real when it comes to what to make for dinner. Around 3 o'clock, everybody's thinking, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So there's so much help out there in the form of apps or even just hacks that can help you make your lists and get organized. Please welcome Ramona Pringle. She's going to help you out. Thank you, Ramona. Tech is your industry. It's your world. So um, it's nice that we can highlight some of your favorite apps and some of your favorite hacks that help keep you organized when it comes to mealtime. Absolutely. You know, everyone is so busy. We've all got so many things to do, so many apps, but yes. it's nice to figure out, can we use these things to help make our lives a little better? Give us that quality of life, be healthy, feel like we're in control. And so there are some great things out there that I think maybe not everyone knows about. Okay, good. So help us out because dinner is, it's one of those things that every day it's going to come around. I know it. You got to figure it out. Let's start with uh, an app you can use with, for the ingredients you have on hand. So this this one I love because I think we've all been in that situation where you just didn't make it to the grocery store yeah. and you know you kind of look in your pantry, you look in your fridge and you've got like Parmesan, lemons, chickpeas right. and you're like what am I going to do? Yeah. And I think all those great chefs, you know, you go to Italy and they all say, oh there's these amazing recipes you can do with five ingredients but when it's you, you're just stumped. You're stuck. And so there's a, a great app called Yumly. Uh -huh. I'm going to open it up right now and what's great about it is you can browse through and you'll see when you browse through they've got everything trendy you know it's all about mm. the most voted for recipes they've got grain bowl recipes mm -hmm. they've got kid friendly recipes but what I love about it is that this is a great tool for saying here's what I've got help me make something great okay uh, so when we go into I'm going into the search here yeah. and one of the things that I can do when I go into the search is check um, tell them what I've got right so I've got eggs let's say I've got I was saying I've got lemon, yeah. um, but the other thing uh, we can go is we can go through and say, well, I want this to be, uh, you know, you were talking about five minute meals, 10 minute meals, oh, 15 good. minute meals. You can set how long you've got. Every day I'd say five minutes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, we can't help you, miss. I need time for scrolling through the rest of my apps. Uh, you can also go through all sorts of uh, allergies, so you can say oh, dairy-free, egg-free, so gluten-free. They're so contemporary, right? Yes. That's the amazing thing about digital tools is that they've got, uh, it's not that there's all the recipes that are there, but they also let you fine-tune and choose what you want from yeah. that incredible database. Amazing. But what's so cool about this is let's say you don't want to type in all those things that you're searching for. Yeah. There is a camera vision feature that it's got. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So you basically take a picture of the ingredients you have and that's the app working right there and it's it's saying okay you've yeah. got heirloom tomatoes, you've got a zucchini, you've got a sweet potato. It thinks that the, the zucchini is a cucumber so you may need to help okay. it out a little that's bit. Okay. <laughs> we can help. You know computers are only as smart as we are that's so you can right. help it out a little bit. So, um, and then it, and then they'll say, well, you're gonna make a, you're gonna make a, you're a ragu with this. So That's right. Make... So what it will do right now, it's pulled up here, uh, a sweet potato, and well, it keeps pulling up do, new things. Oh, I um, like that. A vegan salad bowl with roasted veggies and tahini sounds delicious, oh and my exactly gosh, it's, it's with exactly what we've got here. And you can go through afterwards. I'll put this way because it's jumping around Just all take the different a picture ingredients. Of your whole fridge. Exactly. <laughs> Isn't it nice that you can sort of say, "Here's what I've got. What do I do? Show me what my options are." And if you've yeah. gone ahead in in uh, in advance and really set, "Here's how much time I want to spend. Yes. Here's what my allergies are," then you've got this great resource that's just kind so of fun good. to use. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk about meal planning. You've got another one right. for that. Another so, app for that. You know, some people are particularly proactive or want to get ahead of uh, want to get ahead of the week. And you know, there's those great meal delivery services now. Mm -hmm. But not everyone wants to do that. There's something nice about going to the grocery store or about you know having a bit more involvement in that process. Yes. So the app for that that's really neat is called Meal Lime. It's meal not Meal Lime. Time, but like Meal with citrus citrus fruit. Okay. And what it lets you do is is create a meal plan for the entire week. And if you go into the settings for it again, mm -hmm. uh, it does the same thing where you can uh, set your restrict your dietary restrictions. So let's say we're going to say gluten free and sesame free. Okay. Um, you can add anything that you dislike, but for now, let's just say we like everything. Yes. You can choose your meal uh, serving size, which is really neat because Good. for two, it's just you know maybe dinner for two or maybe it's dinner and lunch the next day. You can right. set it for four or for six. So it depends on the size of your family and who you're cooking for. Mm -hmm. uh, the other really neat thing here is that in Meal Planner you can either do simple or advanced. And if you do simple and you choose you want meals for four nights a week, yeah. it just tells you four meals based on what your preferences have been. That's excellent. If you go into advanced, yes. you can go in. You get a little fancier. You can choose what you want those meals to be. That is so awesome. Like any, any help you can get in that respect is great. We also put meal plans on our 
our website, cityline.tv. So use the apps, use our website. I want to talk a little bit about grocery lists because you have a really good hack for that. Well, the neat thing about all these apps is that they'll generate uh, grocery lists for you. True. And so once you've made your meal plan for the week using one of these apps, it yeah. gives you this uh, grocery shopping list, which is even divided by uh, you know all the different sec uh, sections of the grocery store, so you can get through quickly. That's awesome. But my hack that I love, that's the one that I use, because you don't yeah. necessarily want an app for everything, is uh, just using Notes. If you're an iPhone user, mm -hmm. the best thing about Notes is you can share it. So my husband and I have a shared note we always use when yeah. we're at a milk I add it when he's at the grocery store he can I can see him checking off in real time what he's bought so, cool. so everyone you can you're always adding what you need and what you've bought it's yes. a great great hack because what's annoying is when you're in line at the cash and your husband says peanut butter That's right. <laughs> that is so smart that or when he gets home smart. and you said I texted you peanut yeah, butter yeah where's the peanut butter <laughs> okay Ramona thank you so much for the help Let's